Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. Here in the art room this morning, uh, taking a look at where I stand on my Mexican journal cover, Mexican style. It's not Mexican, it's Mexican style journal cover that I've made. It's um, out of fabric, and I put the lace on yesterday. I'm not really crazy about, I mean, I love this green trim, this emerald green trim. It's really pretty, but it kind of, for some reason, kind of pulled everything together and made it look a little bit more like Christmas to me. It made these look, these, you know, bright, cheerful flowers look more like poinsettias to me. I don't know why, but maybe I can add something somewhere that's yellow, bright yellow color, um, or some more of the bright blue somewhere to make it feel a little less Christmassy. What do you think? Does this say Christmas? It would make a nice Christmas uh, cover, but it's not. It's going to be for this journal. And I think we're getting to the point where we're almost ready to sew in the signatures. I still feel like... Um, I still feel like I need to add a few more belly bands, a few more pockets, a few more, you know, places to hold the ephemera that uh, is in the ephemera box. Uh, so I am kind of want to take inventory this morning, if that's okay with you. First of all, let me tell you, I want to, I appreciate all of you being here and hanging uh, in there with me through the learning process. I think my first hundred videos, again, are going to be the learning progress. There's so many, uh, there's so many things that are, are going on trying to keep up with the journal and keep up with daily life and um, learn the ins and outs of, of, of filming and speaking speaking in this room with nobody in here has been um a thing <laughs> luckily you know in my past career i was i did i held a lot of conference calls so i didn't have the girls you know the girls were from all across the country i didn't have them right in the room with me but their voices at least were on the other end uh so I do have some experience with speaking with no one in the room, but it's not the same. It's a little different. There's no one here that, you know, I ask questions. I ask you guys questions and you can't answer me right away. And not many people even know about my channel yet. So hopefully that, you know, by the time I finish my first hundred videos, that will change. And I want to tell you about um, a learning step that I, yesterday, for the last four videos, the last four videos, so 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 11 through 14. When I uploaded them, I uploaded them as private. So I was wondering how come nobody was stopping by, like nobody was stopping by. Um, it's because <clears throat> they were private. The only two, the only two little um, views were by me checking, you know, sometimes you'll go, I go in and check to make sure everything went okay. And no one else was stopping by at all. That's because I had them on as private. So that was a learning experience. I'm pretty sure that will never happen again. But one good thing did come out of it. Um, it put me a, a little bit ahead in the game, learning what to do if ever I need to video ahead I can go ahead and load them, keep them as private uh, if I'm going to be on vacation or be away, and then I can schedule the time for them to actually post. So I didn't need to learn that lesson right now, but there you go. I did. All right, so I'd like to take a little bit of inventory to find out where we are um, with pockets. There's still, there's a pocket here. I think this first signature is probably pretty full. There's a pocket here that needs to be filled. 
This one has a pocket. So I do have lots of pockets, but there, there's some, we already know what's going in here. One of these pages could use something. And a lot of things are already in the ephemera book. They're already made until I get them, you know, until I get them put in the journal. I won't really know how much more work we have to do. There's a pocket here. Pocket here. It's already filled. That hasn't been in the way. It hasn't fallen out or anything. Here's the belly band. This is the shabby dabby doo belly band. And we already know what's going in there. And we have a pocket here. Oh, this needs something. I probably could um, use some of the colored uh, Distress Ink to make that a journaling spot and just leave it like it is. It's so cute. It's one of Ibet's uh, doilies. And this was a freebie from Anna on Casa Azul. It's cute. And I'm luckily I already backed that. I've just printed it two-sided. And here's the pocket. A pocket. A pocket. There's a pocket on each side of this page. Pocket, pocket, tuck, tuck. Big pocket. This is number three. Number three is a pretty new signature, one of the two new ones. But I have, do have a pocket there. This is an envelope pocket here. This little flap, I can either use this as an extension with something that folds out or maybe leave it like it is. It doesn't seem to be, the, the gummy gluey part doesn't seem to be affected in any way. There's a pocket here. This I can either leave as a flip with some journaling space here, or it could be a pocket. Just glue it down on those two sides. This is the giant pocket. Shabby dabby doo dah pocket. We already know what's going inside there. This is number four, signature number four, probably could use a few pockets. No, that's not a pocket. That's just a collage busy page. So here's a pocket. Yeah, number four, number three and number four could you, here's a pocket. Number three and number four could use a few pockets or belly bands or page flips. We do have some page flips in the ephemera box. And until we get the signatures sewn in, we won't know how much more we need to do. Okay, there's the pocket. This is number five. This belly band already has its tag in there. I took this off. It just was bothering me so much. I couldn't believe when I would flip through how much I disliked having this. Anybody have any use for a yellow and navy blue card? <laughs> Page flip. All right, something will have to go here. We'll have to do something. I just, I'm not going to leave bright white. It's just, it's just not in me to leave complete bright white. I like this though. I'll leave that like, like this. Maybe do a little bit of um, distressing around the edges to add some color. This is one of my favorite pockets. This is that yarn with the Spanish colors from Portugal. So we'll have to find something nice to go in there, something old. All right, so we still do this. I made a pocket out of this. Okay, so we still have some work to do 
Um, but it's almost time to start sewing in the signatures and filling in the pockets. Okay, let's put this aside for now. And I'm going to pull out the next folder. It says next. That doesn't necessarily mean it comes next. Some people might call it the to-do file or uh, maybe a better term for it would be half-baked ideas file. When I run across something that I think, you know, would be easy to do, easy to put together, um, but maybe I don't have time to do it right now. I just kind of stick it in this file. Uh, this, I wanted to make a belly band out of this. This, I think, is just a matter of gluing on my pages. The pocket's already made. These, I want to make a journaling card. I just love this blue, this old. I really enjoy, no matter what journal I'm working on, I like mixing old with the new. Um, I just love old papers, old things, and this is old. This is, you know, came in with the um, package from Anna. So it looks like it was an old embroidery or cross-stitch uh, book. But the blue just really grabs my attention. I want to do something with that blue. This, we could make a page flip out of this. Let's see. Or we could make a belly band and just make a card to, you know, back this up with something. This is a painting that I did years ago in my one of my art journals. My son calls it my rooster painting, but I really think she's just a fancy hen. But kind of has a little Mexican flair to me. And I want to put her in this journal somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe not this big, but somewhere. What is this? I forget what's in here. Oh, yeah. This little family's cute. It's back, but it's really thin, so maybe she could, they could go on a journaling card. A lot of things can't go into a belly band that's this direction, but they could if it was this direction. Or it can just slip down into a pocket or a side pocket. Oh, this one. I thought about making this the, the front cover of my, my journal. For some reason, I just really, really am attracted to this. Again, it couldn't... I wouldn't want to put it in a belly band that's a vertical or portrait, but... A, one that's a landscape. That might be nice. Maybe that. This belly band should have something special. It's it's really cute. And maybe it's them. Let's see. I could trim it where it would just be those three flowers. And that would fit on a page. Again, this is this has come in. This has really come in handy lately. I I um, made this when I was working with Tina's kit with Shabby Dabby Doo Dah kit. It's just a piece of acetate, and I did. Um, it's eight and a half by five and a half, which is the size of a normal journal page when your eight and a half by eleven <clears throat> paper is folded in half. But I used it when I was cutting on big page to, you know, to see where I wanted to cut out to make sure that the image that I wanted was right in the center. It does have a, lo a lot of glare, so I'll try not to um, flash it on you guys too often, but it's been coming in handy. All right, so this probably only needs some distressing on the edges because it's already back. Thank you, Anna. It's already backed um, with some journaling spot. Maybe I could put a, a ribbon or um, lace or something up there. All right, let's work on that and that. 
This has just been floating around my desk for so long and it needs something on there. Um, that's a little file card with, you know, the bright yellow, which I think would be appropriate for something. I just need to find the right image to put on there. <clears throat> and this, I want to do something with this. It's pretty delicate. It was in my Anna package from Anna. <laughs> and it just makes me smile. How cute would it be if... One side was glued to one side of the page. And one to the other side of the page. So when you open it up, you get surprise. Yes, I'm going to do it. And somehow, I don't know if this is going to be the front or the back. We could maybe put um, maybe we could back that page with this blue. Let's see how it would look on the blue. It may need some repairs. It looks very, very delicate. But once it's in the journal, it won't be getting opened and closed too often. Yeah, maybe that. And this would leave a lot of journaling space um, on the rest of the page. Okay, so that, that and that. Aha. Maybe that's why they were paper clipped together. Maybe I've already gone through all the details. All right, I want to work, definitely work on that. And this has that yellow up here, which might go well with this page. Kind of a rustic looking page. All right, so let's clip them together. Figure out something to do with them. And then, I, I don't know if I'm gonna sew the signatures in on camera or not, but it's gonna be time to sew them in pretty soon because we're gonna need to see where we stand and how much more work we have to do. Okay. Let's get cracking. First thing is this. Let's figure out what kind of page, what page we're putting it on. Well, I kind of wish I wouldn't have put this paper clip on there. Stop it. All right, let's pick a page, pick a page. I think we said number three and four needed a lot of work. So let's see where we're going to put it in signature three or four. This page, <clears throat> I printed upside down. I want to get rid, I want, I want that not to be so obvious. So maybe because this covers so much of the page. This could be a good place to put it. And something could go down here. Or maybe just something that's gonna cover that page completely. I don't know. That's the only one that ended up um, upside down so far. But then again, I don't have them sewn into the signatures yet, do I? 
How about this? That might be a good spot for it. I think we found a winner. Okay, and the Shabby Dabby Doodah Bluebird goes on the other side of that page. I'll leave that here so we don't forget our spot. Take this out. Okay, I don't think we have to, to put a backer on it, but we could. This, I think, needs to be trimmed down a little bit to give room to put the belly band down. Do I want to do it with the scissors or with the trimmer? Let's trust the process. Okay, it might not be perfect, but it already wasn't perfect. Look at this side, how this side is not perfect. Perfectly imperfect, I say. Sometimes you can tell better when you're looking at the back side of the page instead of the front. It's so busy. like a half an inch on each side in order to glue the belly band down to the page, which should be sufficient. I don't know why this, I'm so drawn to this image. It's just is so attractive, so attractive to me. It's a beautiful couple. Okay. Do we keep it simple? And not add the extra bulk. I think so. Because we can. This is glued. This is sewn down pretty well. Uh -oh, so should hold up to taking the, the card in and out a few times. And this. I like her beautiful dress to show. I want to make sure the words show. Okay, so let's do it right about here. Go ahead and use Fabri-Tac since we're, it's fabric. I just filled this bottle up. And it needs to be filled up again. I used a lot of it on the, on the, um, a lot of this glue on the cover. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of water while this glue is dripping down. This is my art room water cup. 
my son made this for me. That's a tattoo that he's drawn that he's going to tattoo on someone. He loves bright, bold, but beautiful colors too. And this cup keeps the ice in this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh my gosh. I'm trying not to hit the, uh, I try not to hit the camera arm too often because I know it bounces you around a little bit. Hope it doesn't make you seasick. Anyway, he makes those cups and that's a tattoo that he drew out ahead of time and is going to hopefully be tattooing on somebody soon, some lucky person. Um, again, I'm probably the only tattoo mom without a tattoo. I do know that it won't be tattooed on me, but it will be tattooed on someone. Maybe um, sometime soon we can do a little tour of the, ta of the tattoo shop. Uh, it's tattoo and it's an art gallery. So my son and my daughter are so very talented and I'd like to show them off a little bit. Okay. The belly band. We'll go ahead and get this on here and then we can trim it as needed. Hopefully the card still fits in here. If not, we may have to trim it down a little bit more. This glue is a little bit more forgiving than the art glitter glue. You can move things around a little bit longer before the glue dries. The art glitter glue just dries so quickly, which is not a bad, bad thing, but it's definitely a thing, definitely something you have to keep in mind. And we may have to trim just a tiny bit more. But that's okay. I wanted to make sure to get all three of these flowers in. I think we've done that pretty well. It's pretty. Those bright blue flowers. All right, where are the fabric scissors? Just give this a little trim. I don't know, maybe we can use these for a little cluster or something somewhere. Stick them in this little zippy bag with other scrappies that are on the desk. to the page. Okay. All right, and you are gonna have to be trimmed down a little bit more, I'm afraid. It won't be a lot, but a little bit more. Go on this side. Or we could do a little bit on each side. Here. 
Yeah, I like it. Okay. That's Rachel, our corners. Give me a greenies. Scuff up the edges a little bit so we can hide a little of the imperfections from the cutting. The perfectly imperfect cutting. It's not too bad, it's pretty straight. But I like to add some of the newness off of it by doing that. And then adding my vintage photo. I mostly just use the vintage photo for most everything. And this is at least the look of a very, very vintage photo. This hides the imperfections, it hides the, keeps the, the white from peeking through the core of the paper. Get the back a little bit. I want paper like this, Anna. I want to know exactly what paper you printed on. Okay, and there we have it. That's nice. We want to work on other sides of this page while we have it out. We know that the shabby dabby doodah bird goes here. But we can make something here. What was in our folder? Next. We want to turn the rooster into a flip. See if this rooster was printed on that kind of paper, it would make all the difference. I wouldn't even have to to back it. I want to know what kind of paper that was. If anybody knows, Anna just said vent it was vent you know some vintage paper, but come on. There has to be something similar available these days. All right, if I trimmed her just a little bit, she could become a flip. Or we could just make a nice tag, put a bow up there and, um, or a paper clip, make a nice paper clip and clip her to the top. Should she be a floating card? make her a pocket. I think she's lovely. All right, let's back her first and then we can decide from there. Did we decide we had something to back her with? Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't figure that part out, but we can. Pretty quickly, let's see what we have. I have this bright green thing that's floating around my desk. She could either be, it could either be the light green. I think something was stapled here. Because there's some little holes in it. 
backer with that. Yeah, we haven't used a whole lot of green. Do we want the lighter green? Or the brighter green? it can be is this. All right, so I don't really want to put a border around it. She's big enough by herself. We just want to back her. So do we want this on the back? Or this? Oh, am I bouncing you around? I'm sorry. All right, I think we're gonna go with the lighter one this time. Let me add this, let me trim down. approximation. giving it the bright color. Okay, so the hen is a smaller piece, so let's get her glued up. I'm gonna use this extra strength craft a bond from Elmer's because it's what's on my desk. It is not my favorite. It's not, I'm not loving it. it it's kind of messy. It's, it's um, mushy. and leaves lumps on my page that I then have to smooth out. So, I'm only using it because it was here and I ran out of the Avery while I was filming. Yeah, the bright green. I like it. We don't have a ton of green in this book. And it's definitely a bright, cheery color. Okay, that gives her a little more oomph. Mm, 
go ahead and trim off the excess. So does she look more like a hen or a rooster to you? I'm going to show her to you again up close. Hen or rooster? I say she's a fancy hen. A lot of images from my art journals, a lot of paintings um, that I've done over the years. And my son and my son in law have taken them, and they've my son in law is a really nice, uh, really great photographer, Revolution Photography, Brad Nolte. And he's taking uh, nice pictures of them. And um, that, so then I have some prints to be able to use. And we use those as art at the shop. And when we're making different eclectic koi images. Okay. I love her. I've always loved her. Okay, and we'll just clip her to the top of the page when time comes. I guess I could do it now. No, I don't want to weigh I don't want to weigh the pages down before I sew them in. She'll just have to wait in the ephemera box with everybody else. Okay, where'd we get this page from? From here, and we did already have the shabby dabby doo da bird clipped in. So it'll be two things clipped in, a floating pocket and a floating tag. But they'll be in different parts of the signature. This one's going to be in the back, and the other one will be in the front. Let's see what it's going next to. What page is it? This one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It goes really well next to that. The colors complement each other nicely. Let's go ahead and clip it in. Right, I may end up putting some lace on it. I don't think we did the back of the distress the back very well. Let's do that. We either distress or we don't distress, right? 
definitely a distressor. I'm in the distressor camp. Okay, and you add a little color pop and pizzazz to my colorful Mexican journal. I'm happy with that. And let's see if we have time to do another. Maybe we'll probably just go ahead and call that a wrap for now. And we'll continue working on the next folder next time. Or the Half-Baked Ideas folder. How about that? Let's call it the Half-Baked Ideas folder. No? All right. Thank all of you for joining me today. Keeping me company in the art room. It makes time fly having you here. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thanks for coming. And I'll see you real soon.